This video focuses on assembling the IN300TFL microscope. The IN300TFL is an inverted compound microscope which features phase contrast and fluorescence excitation lighting. When unpacking the components, always look for an arrow or a word which designates the top. We'll start by unpacking the body. Now we'll unpack the top transmitted lighting module. Before installing the top lighting module, remove the locking screw from the front. To insert this lighting module, it must be inserted into the collar with a threaded hole facing the side of the microscope. Then rotate the module 90 degrees so that the threaded hole faces the front of the microscope. It will line up with a hole in the collar. Then insert the locking screw and screw it in to secure the lighting module. Now remove the top of the lighting module by sliding the black part up, exposing the light source. The power lead from the microscope will attach to the two electrical prongs. Then carefully reinsert the assembly. This microscope comes with two stage plates. One is a transparent glass plate, the other is metallic. We'll use the glass plate for now. Next, we'll attach the mechanical stage assembly. The mechanical assembly has two attached screws, which will line up with tapped holes on the underside of the stage. Fasten the locking screw securely. Now we'll unpack the episcopic lighting assembly. The episcopic lamp assembly will slide on to a port on the back of the microscope. It's secured by turning this locking screw. Certain precautions should be taken when handling the mercury bulb. Due to extreme heat, never handle a bulb within 15 minutes of it having been powered on. The bulb should not come into direct contact with your skin. Oil from your skin can create hot spots on the bulb, which can damage it over time. Instead, wear a clean pair of gloves while handling it. By unscrewing the top knob, the access panel may be opened. Insert each end of the bulb into a receptacle. Then tighten the locking screws to securely fasten the bulb in place. Now reattach and close the access panel and tighten the knob. Before using the episcopic lighting, it's important to attach the eye guard, which filters light from the stage to prevent damage to your eyes. Start by loosening the screws on the front of the stage. Next, insert the guard with the flange pointed towards the stage. Then tighten the screws to secure it in place. Now we'll install a pair of eyepieces. We'll start by removing the dust caps. Each eyepiece is inserted into an ocular housing on the head of the microscope. Now we'll unpack the power supply for the episcopic lamp. The episcopic lamp has an attached cable with a three pin connector, which is inserted into the power supply. Next, we'll attach an AC cord to the power supply and the body. Thanks for watching this video, and we hope you enjoy your IN300TFL microscope. 